Brought to you in part by Monadnock Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene. Hi, everybody. Welcome to A Culinary Journey. This is Aubrey. Say hi, Aubrey. Hi. Hi. There's people out there going to watch us later. I don't know who, but we'll see. And I'm Luca, and we're on a culinary journey. And Aubrey and I are going to cook today. What are we going to make? Do you remember? You can say. I'll tell them. Okay, I'll tell them. We're going to be making some pork with a Parmigiano crust. You know what Parmigiano is? Neither do I, so we're going to figure that out together today. <laughs> okay, press the button. No, don't press the button. Oh, my goodness. And you you're said. Oh, I did say it. And then you're going to grind that up. We're going to make a cheese crust for the pork, right? And we're going to make a tomato sauce, the easiest tomato sauce in the world. And we're going to use the blender. We've got a big blender back there. We're going to use that. So we're going to do that. And what else are we going to make? Are we going to make ravioli and a little salad? It's a cool dinner. And it's fun to cook with kids in the kitchen, right? Because we're going to have fun cooking. And she's going to read off the recipe to me. Can you read? No. No, apparently not. She memorized it. Well, we've got a pork parmigiano crust. <laughs> we're going to be making this little... Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We got a pork crust that we'll be making. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, or parmigiano crust for the pork. Tomatoes. Salad. Ravioli using wonton wrappers. Huh? Did you ever think we were going to do that? Okay, you just put it right there. She's going to put everything in place, and you're in the right place because your culinary journey starts now. Okay, I'm dancing by myself. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Luca Paris and this is, tell everybody your name. Aubrey. Aubrey. What are we making? Something that's like chicken. And what are you doing? What are you going to make? Cheese. Oh, I'll tell them. She's going to make a, a cheese crust, right? So, I need the top of that off. So we're going to make a crust and a three-part um, breading station, right? We're going to go flour, then egg, and then breadcrumb. See that? You're gonna, we're going to put the the stuff in the flour first, then we're going to put in eggs, which you got whisk up, we're going to put in the breadcrumbs. And actually, we're going to take some of that out of all of this, and we're going to add it to our ricotta filling, because we want all those same flavors. Isn't that cool? Sure is. All right, so I need a little bit of cheese, so I'm going to come around you, I'm going to put some cheese in. Can you put a little, no, no, don't do that yet. Put a little bit of cheese, no, wait, we got to put all our ingredients in. Just put a, a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so we got our cheese. Now, we're usually with breadcrumb toppings, or, or crusts on things. It's mostly breadcrumb and then a little cheese for flavor. Well, we want to go mostly cheese and a little bit of breadcrumb just to help bind it together. Put one more little batch in. Good, good. <laughs> good garnishing there. All right. <laughs> and then we have our flowers. Do you know what this is? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. She's done better than most people that have been on the show. That's parsley, honey. There you go. Yeah. Put a little of that and just one more for good luck right there. Put that in, put that in, put that in. It's going to be a long show. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're awesome. All right, you're all in? Ready to go? Guess what we need to do now? Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> Your favorite part of the whole show? Click it. And then grind it. Keep going, keep going, so it's all mixed up. We're gonna get all those ingredients together. And we're gonna stop for one second because we want to season it a little That's bit. That's cool. Isn't that awesome? And this is, and then we could do this. We're gonna do it on pork today, but you could do it on chicken, or you could do it even on fish, or anything you like like that. Okay, keep going. All right. So while Aubrey's doing that, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> while she's doing that, I'm gonna get our egg, egg, our egg wash together. And like I said. Um, we're going to use a little bit of all this for our ravioli stuffing as well. That's all right, good. looks perfect. You did a great job. Okay, now hold on to that for one second. 
what I'm going to need you to do is remember all the ingredients we just put in there? Yes. I need you to put uh, like two or three handfuls into our ricotta here. One, two, two three. three. See, math is important. And then do it again with the, what'd you do? You did cheese already. Do a little bit of breadcrumb. Three. Three of them. One, I'll make it four. You have two. And you'll <laughs> make it three, six. Three, <laughs> four, five, six. Six. All right, beautiful. Very nice. Okay, we're going to put one egg yolk in here. Ah. ah, yucky. Yucky but fun at the same time. And you, you're going to take the egg yolk, right? And you're going to just mix it up a little bit and just kind of just move all this stuff around. Why don't you do that? So that's our ricotta filling for our ravioli. Now, if you're not making your own pasta at home, we're going to be using wonton wrappers because the ingredients on the wonton wrapper are egg, flour, water. What's usually in pasta? Egg, flour, water. Makes a great wrapper and allows you even to pan fry a little bit. So almost like you have fried wontons, we're going to actually have fried ravioli with the ricotta cheese in there. We're going to put some parsley in there as well. So we have some really cool things to look forward to later on in the show. But the first thing we want to get ready is our pork and our tomatoes. So let me move this up just a little. What's that? That's a great job. All right, let me, uh, doo -doo -doo. Let me just do this. I'm going to chop you up some parsley by hand, and we're going to put it in there, and you can keep doing that. And then I'm going to need you to do more eggs for me. You doing okay? Yeah? You having fun? Yeah. Yeah? You can't even press that thing? Wait till you see the big thing you get to press later. All right. That? Yeah. All right, you do that. You take that. Now you mix that up a little bit. Just go boom, 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 boom. Okay? Just chop away. All right, perfect. Here. Okay. Huh? Okay. Perfect. Keep going. And I have another thing for you. Okay, so for those of you who have seen my show, you know I generally do not use anything but a knife, right? I use knives all the time. But when you have kids in the kitchen, it's really important that you're working safe, right? We want to work safe. So you don't want to use knives if you haven't learned how to use a knife yet. That's perfect. All right, I'll take this. We'll get rid of that. All right. So if you're, if you're not used to using knives, having one of Will these really works. Have you ever it? seen that? Yes. So it's just, so I need you to just chop, chop, chop. Have fun. Ooh, don't put your fingers underneath, but here, I'll bring it closer to you. Ready? All right, go crazy. Chop, 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 chop. Hold, no. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to go crazy. You were right. Hold this part. Keep going. Bring the kids in the kitchen. Let them chop away. It stays on. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's beautiful. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to take this parsley, right? We're going to push it onto here. And I need you to put the parsley right in there and mix that in too. All right? Beautiful. All right, so you know what we have ready there, right? We have our stuffing for our ravioli. We're going to do our pork in a second. We're going to season our mixtures here. We have flour, eggs, and did you make this? Do you remember yes. what's in here? The breadcrumbs and the cheese? Ooh. All right, so we got all the stuff we need right there. Keep going. That's for our ravioli. Show them how to do that. While okay. you're setting that up, this is what I wanted to show you. While you're setting that up, I need a knife. We'll just use this one here. And I'm going to take these tomatoes, right? And all I'm going to do to them, watch how cool this is. I'm going to take the tomatoes, cut them up into quarters, the whole thing. And because, remember what these start with. Look, do you like the color orange? Yeah. You, you know I can make orange tomato sauce from red tomatoes? You want to see me do that? All right. So I'm going to take the tomatoes and just cut them up. And the, what is, to me, the simplest and most amazing tomato sauce in the world. Because all the ingredients here are those tomatoes cooking down, a decent amount of extra virgin olive oil that they're going to cook in, because that's going to help uh, just bring out even more flavor. A little salt and pepper. Ta-da. You're watching, right? Because you have to write the recipe later for me. And a cover. It's going to be the easiest tomato sauce I've ever done on the show. Now, you have the ricotta filling. Is that good? I think that's absolutely beautiful. You have the ricotta filling, and then you and I are going to start doing the wet-dry method. OK? Watch this. Ready? OK, you're going to put a piece of pork that's been pounded out really thin. Look how thin. Can you see me? No. 
Can you see me now? Yes. See how thin it was? That was, that was like magic. Let's do it again. Can you see me? No. Yes. You see? It's thin pork. All right, so we're going to put the pork in there, a little bit of flour on each side, and this is called dredging with flour, and then you knock off the extra. And then you put it in here. Now, if you do it, oh, okay. This is the wet-dry method. Over. Yeah. You let her do the wet, and you stay dry. <laughs> and she's going to make a mess. Oh, good job. Okay. <laughs> this is get you in training for home. And then we put it in here. I'll do that part. Yeah, because right. it's farther. But I'm going to have you do the next one, okay? You'll do the next one when we go to commercial break. And then what I'll do is we might, not, we might only have enough to make a couple for us. Okay, so we make sure we have breadcrumbs everywhere. Maybe we'll make some more while we're away and we'll cook that up. Then we take this, and we'll get a plate to put it on. Let's get this plate and we'll put these to get ready until we fry them, okay? So you start on that, dip it in there. Take your time, have fun. Usually if you're working with kids, the best way to do this is put this in deeper bowls so they can make a mess. Don't worry about it because you're going to get to clean up your kitchen anyway, and you've probably made a mess in your kitchen more than your kids ever will. So let's, you just keep going there. Good job. All right, get it over there, and I'll actually watch this. I'll make it easy for you. Here, switch that around. All right, and you get all that on there, and Aubrey and I will just keep doing this, and when we come back, we'll have a couple of these to fry, and we're going to get our ravioli together. So we have our tomatoes. We're working on our pork here. Get a whole bunch of these ready. Well then, let's start getting to our ravioli and our sauce, and we're going to make a salad. Keep going. Get it all over that. Perfect. So don't go away, because we are going to be right back. Go ahead. Keep going. Got to get more. That looks awesome. good. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? We're back, and I'm looking for stuff. Oh, I got it. My brushes, because we're going to paint. Did you know that? Hi, I'm Luca, and this is? Aubrey. This is Aubrey. She's my assistant for today, and we are making pork medallions with a little parmigiano crust, a tomato sauce that's right in there, which is absolutely yummy. Those are tomatoes, uh, plum tomatoes, cook it down, salt and pepper, and olive oil. And that's it. We're going to turn those down a little bit because I don't want to get them too done. And all I did was quarter them, throw them in their hole. Now you put it down too far and it goes away. And we're going to quarter them. And then Aubrey's going to blend them up into a cool sauce. Did you know that? <laughs> that's what we're going to do. And now we're going to make ravioli. So do you like to cook? Yes. Yeah? What do you cook at home? Um, I do that too. Cupcakes <gasps> and cookies. You make cupcakes and cookies? Did you bring me one? No. Will you bring one to the restaurant next time? Okay. Just looking at mom, making sure she heard that. She too, okay. Do you have a favorite restaurant that you go to when you go for like your birthday? Luke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure, really? <laughs> Me too, high five. I love that. I'm so glad you said that because I was worried if you changed your mind. But didn't you go to Lucas for your birthday? Yes. And did, did I tell you what your birthday present was going to be? No. And I tell you you're going to be on my show for your birthday? You're going to cook me a meal? Yes. For your birthday? You did say that. I did, yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make ravioli. Ready? Okay, this is going to be fun. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I need an egg. I wish I had an egg. You know where an egg is? Let's move that over. Here. Egg. You're good. <laughs> You're good. You remember what you did with the egg the last time? Huh? Ta-da. Mixed it. Ta-da. Now keep it in the bowl. Brand new technique. We call it hurting it with a fork. All right. Just keep it. <laughs> you, I, I, I got to tell you something, Robert. You want to hear something? You have been one of the few kids I've ever worked with that has actually scrambled an egg without getting it all over them. I almost had to buy you a new outfit because it was, I was sure that it was going to get all over you. That is great. So this is a brand new technique. If your kids are learning to do an egg, start with as Aubrey did. And she stabbed it a couple of times and the yolk broke up, which I didn't even think about this. This is really cool. You've just given everyone, you taught me something new today. I'm so excited. 
And then you start mixing it up and then go sideways and it comes out perfect. <laughs> Gonna be an internet sensation, high five. All right, Al. Okay, and what do we have in here? Do you remember what we put in here? Um. Ricotta, right. What else? Cheese, what Cheese. else? Breadcrumb. Yes. Eggs. Salt and pepper? Maybe, I don't know. So it's so yeah. salt and pepper. Okay, so that's what we put in here, right? So let's turn this down just a little. And we're gonna make our ravioli. Now, the thing is, not everybody is gonna make ravioli at home. Or at least the pasta dough to make ravioli. But if you wanna make really cool ravioli, you take a sheet of this, right? And then we take a little paintbrush and we paint it. So you take the egg and you paint it, you paint it, you paint it. Now really you only need to do the edges, but it's so, well, wait, wait, I'll give you another one there. It's so much more fun just to paint the whole thing, right? So you do that one and paint it and paint it and paint it, okay? So we'll paint a bunch of those, but then we'll take a little bit of our filling, right? And wrap it. And well, we could do one or two or ways. We could do it, it this top. way. And then we have, you know, we press the sides down. And then we have these little triangles of ravioli. You like those? You yeah, do that? that'd be good. Okay, then we'll do that. So I'll give you a little bit of filling. Now you fold it over. Right, this. Uh, let's go angle oh, to sideways. angle, like that way. Yeah, until they touch there. And then we just have to next time put a little less egg and get really messy. Okay, cool. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that over here. And then I'll just pinch it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna give you a bunch of these. Now when you do the eggs, just like when you paint, you don't wanna to put too much. So you just put a little bit on there. And then we, I'll, I'll make you, I'll give you a bunch of these to make. Okay, you make those? Sounds good? Yeah. Doing all right? All right, so these are gonna be our ravioli. Just simple cheese-filled ravioli. No different than fried wonton. And I'm gonna make it a couple of different ways just so we could show you. All right, so I'll put this in here. Now while she's doing that, I'm gonna start frying up our pork and start, <laughs> We'll figure out a rhyme or reason to this. She's doing a great job. This is, you, did you ever do anything like this before? No. No, nope, me neither. So that makes two of us. All right, we keep working on that. I am gonna put a little bit of oil in our pan over here. It's a really, really hot pan. But I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit because I was spending a little too much time talking to you about stuff. And now with our pork, what, the thing about it, it's mostly cheese, right? So using a nonstick pan is important. And making sure it's hot, but right now it's just a little bit too hot. So what I'm going to allow this to do is I'm going to allow it to cool just a little bit as I take it away. And I'm going to get the pork in there. Now the pork was cut very, very thin or cut thin then pounded out. And by doing that, we're going to cook it quickly. Now I also like to undercook, not undercook my pork, but not cook it all the way through. The scallopini themselves will cook all the way through naturally because they're really thin. Did you know that? How you doing over there? You're doing wonderful. I'll come and help you in a sec. Did you put your own ricotta in too, or did I do that? What? Did you put your own cheese mix in, or did I put it in? You put it in. Okay, good. It's good to see that I'm paying attention. And then I just I have it on there, and it's just gonna cook. See, look at look, I'm cooking our pork. Did you see this? Uh, Isn't that cool? Now watch. I'm gonna flip it over. You ready for this? Ready? And it's just got a little bit of brown uh, on it. See the brown? Isn't that's that beautiful? Cool. That's cool. <laughs> You're the best. All right, don't go away. Stay right there. I got to get something. Because we're going to warm these up in the oven in a little bit. So, while she's doing that, do you want a couple more? Yeah. Here, I'm going to move this over just a little bit so you can do that a little bit easier. Look at that. So, that's our first pork. I'm going to get the second pork going. Aubrey, how are the ravioli coming? You think that's enough for us today? That's a good amount of ravioli for us. And we'll, we'll pinch them a little bit, and then we're going to fry a couple and we're going to boil a couple. We'll do that as soon as we come back. So we have our ravioli, Whoop, I'm gonna fix those up. All right, and we're gonna clean up, we're gonna wash our hands, I'm gonna fry the rest of this pork, and this tomato, now this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this uh, tomato mix we have here, see that? It's got a, wait, I'm taking it away where I should have left it here. It's got a little bit of the char flavor to it, it's got olive oil, it's breaking down. We're gonna put it in there. This? Now this yeah. But I'm going to move it over because when you, whenever you do put hot food 
in, um, in a blender, it's kind of dangerous. So I'm going to take care of it. I just need to be there. And you have something to take care of that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So don't go away. I'm going to finish doing the pork. We have our ravioli done. We're still going to make a salad. Got a lot of stuff going on here. And you're going to see our tomato sauce, too. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Say, don't go away. We'll be right back. Don't go away. We're coming right back. Hey everybody, welcome back to a culinary. What are we doing down here? Cooking. Oh, we're cooking down here. <laughs> you know, what are we making? Are we going to just do the rest of the show like this? Ravioli. We're making ravioli? Because we're the only ones looking that way. Everyone's looking over here, I think, maybe. What do you think? Should we start going this way? Or do you just want to stay there? I want to go that way. Okay. <laughs> well, you got it. We're going this way. We're making ravioli and we're making pork. And we're making salad, and we're making a tomato sauce, all right? So I want to put the ingredients in here, and then I'm going to have you do a couple of things. Ready? So, okay, yeah, so I'll do this. You, what did you call this? Cheese, cheese grater? grater. Yeah, you can grate cheese on this side, or you can grate it on this side. You can grate big cheeses on this side. Or you can take this side, and depending which side, we could zest lemon. You know what lemon zest is? Lemon zest is a skit smell. Do you like lemon? Yeah. You like lemon? You ever taste a lemon just by itself? Sour. You want to try one? You want to try it right now? Let's try a lemon right now. This is, this is cool. I'll take out my small knife. That's not small. <laughs> it's not a small knife? Here, let's both taste the lemon. Here, you first. Okay, go ahead. No, the whole thing. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Big bite. Big bite. No? <laughs> I'm so mean. Good. My turn. Ready? Mmm. Mm. It really made you do that? Mmm. That was good though, wasn't it? You liked it. There you go. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Could you give me that lemon? Ah. <laughs> here, here, here you go. <laughs> You're not supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> you did. Oh yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, well, do as I do, oh. not as I say, or something like that. I'm a bad influence on you, aren't I? You okay? <laughs> you want some water? Uh. Yeah? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Here, have some water. There you go. There you go. You want another piece of lemon? No? Uh. No? <laughs> okay. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. <laughs> so this lemon zest doesn't taste as strong as that, right? Just a little bit. Let's put a couple of uh, salt and pepper in there. Yeah, and then we're gonna put some olive oil in there. So, you know what's really important about when you eat? Got some on my finger. You got some oil on your fingers? That's why, yeah. you have the, that's why you have the ring. You know what's really important about when you eat? It's two things. Portion sizes, can't be too big because then you're stuffed. And then balancing flavors. You know what that means? No. That you have different flavors that or different textures and flavors, and it's real, it comes out really yummy. Like this salad is going to be a little bit peppery, and then it's crunchy, and it's got the oil and the lemon. Good job cleaning up. Are you a good cleaner at home? Yeah. Yeah? And then we have the tomato sauce, which is a little bit acidy and like a nice little bite. You want me to push five? And yep, yeah, why don't you do that? Let's make sure it's right. So she's grinding off our tomato. I got right here. We have a ravioli frying there. Check this out. We have ravioli that we're frying. Look at this one. Look at that one. Frying the ravioli. And over here. Whoops. This one looks like it's You wanted me to turn it off? No, yeah, keep me. going. We need it nice and on. And over here, I have ravioli that was over here. Alright? Looking okay? Perfect. That's a perfect sauce. Now, Let's put our plate together. Put a little bit of salad. That's our vegetable. So and it's got a little. Try this. <gasps> My mom's gonna try this. Are you gonna try it too? Um, you don't know if you're gonna try it. How about you just try one of the ravioli? Yeah. Okay. You'll try one of the fried ravioli or the boiled ravioli. Boiled. Fried. Okay, fried ravioli. You're gonna try fried ravioli. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut a piece of pork. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. We'll cut it in half. We'll put it here. Look how pretty this plate looks. This one's going to be mine. 
That one's going to be yours and your mom's. Oh, you excited? Good, because I am. All right, we got that. Are you going to cook any more? No, I think we're all done cooking. But we shouldn't whisper. We don't want them to think we're talking about them. <laughs> all right, and you want fried ravioli, you said? Yep. All right. So, fried ravioli. I need, you have a pair of tongs over there? You know what tongs are? These. Nice. Good job. I'm going to take these fried ravioli and put them with yours. Oh, look how good this looks. It's probably one of the fried. best meals I ever made. You know why? Because you helped me. Yes, you did. This is for you. This is for me. And what am I missing? Am I missing anything on this plate? Sauce. This wonderful sauce. What, what color did I tell you I was going to make those tomatoes? Trend? Orange. Orange. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have to get it. Come on up. Oh, that was very sweet of you. I just happen to have another one. Look at that. What color is that? Orange. Orange tomato sauce. We'll just put it right over the top. How's that? Does that look yummy? Yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you. <laughs> and let's put this over this. A more orange. That's your plate. Is that my plate? And then, let's put this here because I have a tendency to drop things. Let's get these out of here. Now, these are our boiled ravioli, which are really delicate. I should have just fried. Heck. Let's see if I could do this. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Yeah? And you like cooking now? Yeah. Are you a junior chef at the, at the restaurant? What do you mean? Do you have a chef hat from the restaurant now? Yes. You are awesome. Thank you so much for working with me today. You want to try it right now or do you want to wait till we're done? Wait till we're done. You sure you don't want to try a small piece? No. Oh, wait. No, let's try a little ravioli piece. Now blow because it's going to be hot. A little bit of sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, here, hold that. We're going to go away, because just in case she makes the same face that she did with the lemon, I don't want to see that on the camera. But in case she doesn't, maybe we'll put it in later. Sounds good? All right. Tell everybody we'll see you next time. See you next time. We'll see you next time on A Culinary Journey. Bye. to you in part by Monadnock Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene.